Occasionally, you can get a tropical system or at least subtropical in the month of April. I want to take a look at the possibility of that. And it's happened not too long ago, back in 2017. It is rare, but it does happen. This was Arlene back in 2017 to the east of Bermuda, close to the Azores. You see this big spin out there, a tropical storm that did develop in the month of April. And you see kind of the track it did. Usually if these do develop, and again, few and far between, uh, they're just out there in the open waters. Not a huge issue. Here's Bermuda, Atlantic region of Canada. And I'm going to go way out in time in just a second, take you through the month of April to show you the possibility of something like this. Uh, but this is Arlene just did a spin out there between Bermuda and the Azores kind of harmlessly out to sea. And you see how rare it is in the month of April, only seven named storms on record. And those records go back uh, to the uh, 1800s. But as we get into May, we're up to about 50 named storms. And that's why I'm really looking at hurricane season right now before hurricane season starts, because every other year in May, there's usually a named system out there. For the most part, we don't get big issues out of those. Sometimes they do form near land. Sometimes it could be a good thing. Right? If we need some rain and we get some rain and it's not too windy, but we are getting closer to where we get into some activity. So that's what I'm watching. Here's the stuff I look at behind the scenes. Here's the Atlantic Basin. So you have the Gulf, Caribbean, and the Atlantic. The orange shading, those are above average water temperatures. And by the way, in a moment, I want to take you out through the month of April. We're going to go way deep in time in the uh, tropical Atlantic. But this orange shading, above average water temperatures, that could act as fuel to a spin that may try to develop later this month. But off the coast of Africa, this is also notable too. Look at this blue shading out here. Now, as we get deeper into the hurricane season, later in a, into a summer, uh, July, August, September, that's when you get those clusters coming off the coast of uh, Africa, some of those thunderstorms. So water temperatures out here are below average. That may lead to a lower number of tropical systems deeper into the season if these water temperatures stay cool enough. Cooler water out here also impacts the overall environment. It adds stability to the environment as a whole. It all plays together, but that'll be interesting to see what happens uh, as we get deeper into the season with some of those water temperatures. Now, water temperatures now are above average, and there's going to be an above average chance of rain in April. So that con uh, combination says, hey, maybe something can uh, potentially form. You see the greater Atlantic, though, below average uh, rainfall uh, expected. I do want to show you as I take you out in time some of the increase rain though in the Caribbean. So let's do that now. We're going to go way out in time. Here's the big picture. Here we are in the Caribbean. So you have Bermuda right here. You get over toward Barbados, Trinidad. Let's zoom out in time and then I'll break down the forecast in just a second. This here is by Saturday. No spin in the Atlantic. But what does happen is we get these big systems, fronts rolling across the United States, and then they kind of get parked. This is next week on Wednesday uh, and they kind of uh, die, die off. But sometimes you get little chunks of moisture that hang behind, that's where you could get a spin in the Atlantic this time of year. If you get these little pockets of leftover rain, sometimes those areas can develop somewhat, just like we had with our lean back in 2017. Here comes another front, not seeing any notable spins, just occasionally uh, a little bit of some of that moisture around. Here's another front. This is way deeper into the uh, month, so we're looking at a couple weeks from now. You see here, this is April 18th. No sign of any uh, tropical spin, but it's just watching these fronts that move by the Atlantic to see if there's any leftover moisture. Now, I also mentioned above average rain as we get deeper into the month in the Caribbean, and you get a hint of that in this long-term model. Look at some of that rain that will be a potential. We'll see if this shakes out, though, uh, in parts of the Caribbean as we go over the next couple of weeks. So there's going to be a lot to track. These bigger fronts up here, we'll see if there's a rare Atlantic spin, but some moisture that will be building back through the Caribbean, which a lot of us do need. Right now, we've seen a couple little hit or miss showers hours overnight, Dominica, St. Lucia, there's been a couple even over toward the ABC Islands, swinging back toward parts of Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia. Now, I'll show you the rain. I'll zoom into the U.S. in just a second as well. Horrific severe weather uh, uh, outbreak uh, up there. But watching the winds, let's start with the winds here. You see kind of these white shading showing up. We'll get some of those gusts around 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. So strong easterly winds that really picked up yesterday. We'll have that today and again for tomorrow. So this is our Friday. Look at that little white shading kind of fighting through that uh, purplish shading in there. Those are the strong winds. So we're going to have those gusts uh, up to about 80 kilometers an hour, kilometers an hour and miles per hour. And 
your screen to keep everyone covered. So those winds zooming in, that'll bring some of those fast moving showers. Then as we get into the weekend, the weekend still the easterly flow, but with that, the winds will start to die down just a touch as we get into the weekend. Still breezy to windy, but the winds will calm down some. So watching some of the rain with its easterly flow, some fast moving rain. Now, one spot I'm watching, especially southeastern Caribbean, Guyana and Suriname, we've had the rain. The next few days, it is going to creep closer uh, to us in uh, Trinidad. So as we go out in time here, this is as we work our way into tomorrow. Look what happens. We'll be on the edge of some rain in Trinidad, uh, Antigua, Barbuda, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, some fast moving showers, a little bit more Costa Rica and Panama right in here. But watch this. Watch what happens as we get into the weekend. Once we get deeper into Saturday, some of this moisture feeds to the north through parts of Venezuela and Trinidad. Could get closer to us in Grenada, but a better chance of some showers in the southeastern Caribbean. And we need them as we work our way into Saturday and then even into Sunday. So that's going to be a spot to watch. We'll watch that together the next few days. Now, with the winds today, that strong easterly flow, look how the seas are elevated. Everything is choppy to even on the rough side, including those Atlantic passageways. Here's meters. Here's feet on the right-hand side of your screen. This is tomorrow. Gulf over toward the bay, the Caribbean, the Atlantic. Everything on the uh, choppier side, two to about even four meters in spots. This here is by the weekend. And with more systems coming through the U.S., see some of those Atlantic waters still elevated as we work our way from Saturday into Sunday. So heads up for any interest on the water this weekend. At times, things are going to be choppier and rougher depending on uh, your vessel or your navigation route. Now, there's been a terrible severe weather outbreak. We talked about that in parts of the United States, multiple tornadoes. Uh, we're thinking of them up there. You see these deeper colors up here, still some ongoing tornado warnings, and they're going to get some repeat systems similar to this over the next few days. So there'll be some heavier weather again later today over toward the southern United States. Meanwhile, seeing some snow that's clipping by New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, deeper into today, tonight, Newfoundland, that chance of snow. There's an additional severe weather outbreak right through here over toward toward parts of the U.S. And you see how another one builds, right? Right back behind it. This is deeper to tomorrow, watching another chance of severe weather. Could still see a few snow showers by the Avalon Peninsula. And then on Saturday, the southern U.S., uh, back towards some of the same spots, another potential of severe weather, including damaging winds and tornadoes right through here. North side of that, seeing another chance of snow and rain for the Atlantic region of Canada. As far as our rain chance goes, Bahamas, it stays low. So as we zoom around with the totals, they're just not too high. We may get a couple thunderstorms in the Dominican Republic. Could get one east end of uh, Jamaica for us. So we may get a spot over an inch of rain, over 25 millimeters of rain, uh, but that will not be the norm the next couple of days. Couple showers with that easterly breeze at Guadeloupe, Dominica. We could get a few spots again over 25 millimeters of rain or over an inch of rain. But watching this area here, Trinidad, giving you the heads up. As we get into the weekend, our rain chance is going to get higher. We could get some spots over 50 millimeters of rain, over two inches of rain. And it's one of those things we need the rain, but then all of a sudden we could have a flood threat. So I'm going to be watching that carefully, right? As we get into the weekend and watch some of that rain from Suriname and Guyana kind of building uh, up into uh, our direction. You see Guyana, Suriname, some spots around four inches or 100 millimeters of rain. And we'll see how close this core of the rain gets as we get into Saturday and into Sunday. Scattered areas of rain, uh, Costa Rica, Panama, and Guatemala again. Hit or miss Nicaragua over toward Honduras, mainly dry for us in Belize, and then back through Mexico, mainly dry, and just watching this really heavy flooding rain where they're having that severe weather outbreak in parts of the United States. So an isolated shower or a thunderstorm, 30% chance in Jamaica, just a 20 to 30% chance Cayman Islands. We need the rain, rain chance staying on the low side. But you see here, this is when it builds as we get into Saturday, up to a 50% chance, uh, Trinidad and Tobago, maybe a little higher. I'm going to be fine-tuning that over the next day, and we'll be zooming down as we get into tomorrow. We're going to see a lot of changes as we get into our weekend. 20 to 30% chance in Barbados, a 30% chance of a shower. The next three days as we get into St. Lucia, 20% chance in Grenada. But again, the weekend, we need to see how close some of this rain gets, and that includes St. Vincent the Grenadines. Right now, 20 to 30% chance, but we'll see how much of this moisture lifts to the north. Martinique, passing shower today. 
about a 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday in Dominica. Strong easterly winds the next couple of days, 30 to 40% chance in Guadalupe, Antigua, and Barbuda. A couple passing showers will be possible. We had a few nearby overnight, 20% chance the next couple of days, St. Kitts and Nevis in Montserrat, Anguilla and St. Bart's isolated shower chance. Fast movers with that breeze around St. Martin, St. and Station, rain chance 20% today. A 40% chance today in Puerto Rico could include a couple thunderstorms in holding on to that 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance stays low. We're mainly dry in the Bahamas, mainly dry as we work our way into the Turks and Caicos. 50% chance of a scattered shower storm today in the Dominican Republic. A 30% chance tomorrow. Just a 20% chance in Haiti. Rain chance on the very low side and on the low side. We're mainly dry across uh, Belize. A 30% chance though of a passing shower. That is up a little bit. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Chance of a passing shower, especially with some of those gusty winds. But Guyana and Suriname, still the long term. We have that wet season working in with that additional rain. And that's what I'll be watching, trying to lift to the north. Cuba, rain chance only 20%. A 50% chance though, Costa Rica and Panama. Rain chance bumps up a notch. A 40% chance in Nicaragua. Not too high and even lower as we work our way to Honduras. Uh, Honduras rain chance about 20%, but a 40% chance tomorrow and Saturday, Guatemala and even into uh, El Salvador, Mex Mexico City, we are dry and we're mainly dry across Merida, Campeche, Cozumel and Cancun. Rain chance stays limited. Northern Colombia, a little bit to the south, better chance of rain. Rain chance in eastern Venezuela, building with some of that moisture nearby by the weekend. Bermuda, we're mainly dry in between systems right now. So watching hurricane season, and keep an eye on it if we get an uh, interesting spin out there this month. But of course, uh, we'll see the possibility, higher possibility of a named storm next month. Tracking that rain near the southeastern Caribbean, watching the gusty winds and high season. I'm still monitoring that earthquake activity. A lot of us have had a lull in that. It hasn't been as active as we had a couple weeks ago, but still watching that. So I hope you have a really good day ahead.